Mic check, one, two, one, two. Mic check, one, two, one, two. This video is not financial advice. I just hope you bought your oven mitts, baby, because it's Lotto Friday. Now, let's talk about it. What is Lotto Friday? Now, many people who play options, particularly very, very, very high-risk options, which I do not recommend for the majority of people, but I want you to understand, this is called Lotto Friday. Now, if you were to look that up on the internet, then you would see exactly what we're talking about now. When it's Friday, and it's time for many people to say, yo, I'm ready to get in with some money I'm willing to lose, and then boom, see what can happen with it. So, again, take your time, be responsible, let's see what's going on here. So, again, this video is brought to you by the Public Investing app over there. That's where you can get $73 in free stock, no payment for order flow. You can buy fractional shares if you can't afford a whole share. You can only get a piece, baby, until you work your way up to getting a piece. So, shout out to them. Now, let's take a look at what's going on on the market. Also, I want you to hit the subscribe button if you have not done so already hit the notification bell double check youtube has been unsubscribing people but we've been killing it by first of all hitting the like button and double checking so i appreciate y'all for that let's take a look at apple and see what they're doing on the day and see if we could jump into a potential apple play now i know apple started to run up like crazy and i'm pretty sure some people starting to get smacked on their calls on it but let's see what we can do because remember if you want to get in you got to get up and you got to get out you say you didn't get the notification, again, you know what time it is with YouTube. This is why I keep telling you, you got to pay attention in terms of making sure that you do me a favor and come over here and say, yo, I'm not getting the notifications, so then I could try to fix it on my end and see what's going on, but I got you. So now, again, let's see what's going on. And when you're using family, if you're not, <laughs> I don't even know. Let's let's come back and let's, let's calm, let's, let's breathe, let's breathe. <laughs> he said charge point is finally moving all right so you ready family i just want you to know i'm excited because i'm i'm ready to go let's look at tesla what is tesla looking like tesla is looking like the put options are straight up killing you said you had to refresh the page a few times come on now jeff i, I see you big dog marie i see you family much love all right so let's go and let's take a look at this at this together so here we go on the minute chart we got Tesla bouncing off of the 800, but notice it dropped from 839 all the way down to 807. So I'm sure people are getting money on the put options on Tesla. Let's see if Weeble has opened them up in terms of telling us the percentage that people have made so far, and they have not. They have not done so just yet. Let's look at the spy and let's see the charts. See the spy. Okay. So everything is kind of tanking out the gate. Let's move these moving averages or moving average lines a little bit. Ah, so now we're on the minute chart, but we're under the 200 moving average, which is a sign of a downtrend. We have a support level right here, the same support that existed yesterday. Okay. Oh no, this support isn't even from yesterday. Let's zoom out and see where it's from. Wow, this is a major support level, family. Right here, the support level is the last one since October. The last one since October. And it is 420. It's 420. You say join the Discord Tuesday. Let's go. Let's go. Again, if you have not joined the Discord, go ahead and do so. Please go ahead and do so. So now, let's talk about it. I'm opening my phone right now so I can look for a potential option to jump in. Again, family, hit that like button on your way in. Let's get it. What am I looking at right now? I'm going to switch over to the five-minute chart. And I'm looking at potential options on the SPY. And I'm talking get in, get up, get out. Now, I want you to consider this. When you use these time frames on the bottom right here, what I want you to understand and know is if you use the one minute chart, then you expect to get out in minutes. If you use the five minute chart, then you expect to get out in increments of five minutes, right? Just think of it like that as a rule of thumb. Now, 30 minutes, think of it just like that. If you use the daily chart, then you plan on looking at trends on the day. Okay, so now let's go to the one minute chart again. And let's see, we have some consolidation right now with a little bit of a pop. What we're looking at here are our moving averages. Now, let me explain that to you really quickly. So we have our 200 period moving average. This is the red one. 
we have our 50 period moving average. This is the orange one. And then we have our 20 period moving average. This is the blue one. So the red one moves more slowly because it accumulates and accounts for 20, or I'm sorry, 200 different periods. And then you basically take the closing price of every time that these closed, like every one of these candles, let's say, the last 200 of them, where did they close? The last 200. And then divide it, add them all up and divide them by 200, right? So then the 50 is the same idea, the last 50 periods here, and then what you'll have is divide them all by that 50, and remember, at their close, that's how you get that. So what's going on with these are the blue one is moving significantly faster, and it's more volatile than either the red one or the orange one. But when you see them start to cross over each other, you start to get signals. So you see this fast-moving blue one cross over the 50, this is kind of giving us a signal that we're in somewhat of a bear trend short term right so today we're looking at the i'm looking at the spy right now and i'm looking at the spy for puts let's go down here and let's see on a five minute chart so notice we're under the 200 moving period on a five minute we're under the red that's a that's a sign of a downtrend but very very short term we have the blue cross over the orange which is a sign of a short term very short term upswing so when you go to the minute chart you might even start to see it do it like that you see little upswings you said the macd is about to converge let's open up the macd and let's see when we look at the macd this is what we've been using and we've been talking about a lot somebody ring my doorbell let me let me go check that out family now look I'll be right back. All right, family. <laughs> I'm back. Let's go. <laughs> All right, yeah. So let's check it. Look, we're starting to see more weakness on the spy, right? So let's see. Let's see if we can get into a hot one. And let's see. Where would I post it? I post it to Discord. Stocks of the week. Now, remember, if we're looking at the minute chart, then we do not plan on being in this one long at all. But I do want you to also notice. When you look at the MACD on the minute chart, the selling pressure is getting lower and lower and lower. But we do want it to speed up. We want that fear. If we want to make money on the way down, we want it to be volatile. Very, very volatile. You said Tesla is down? <laughs> you said the alphabet boy is at the door? Come on now, stop it. <laughs> hold, up, hold up, Tesla. Is Tesla in a 700 jet? Oh, whoa, look at that. Tesla is getting smoked. Now I'm looking at Tesla puts. Notice though, after a huge candle like this, then it's likely to do a little bit of a, like a matching candle, like a little bit. Like after so, so much selling, what this is going to do is it hits people's stop limit or order limits and then it pumps up. So like, for example, there are people who may not be watching the market, right? 
and then what will happen is they'll have a order like a limit order and it'll be set to let's call it 795 when this thing happens a big candle it just hits all of those orders and then it turns around boom like quickly but it, it should turn and keep coming back down eventually because this is a lot of fear in this play okay yeah so let's go back the MACD is looking like it's converging upward though so you want to watch out however we're getting a completely opposite signal over here and it is on the minute chart it is it's working out look at that so tesla's or apple not apple what is this the spy i guess it's all of these things together right it's a spy neo's to 19 oh i gotta go check that out yes neo is at 19 neo is in 19 let's see when the last time this happened the last time Neo was this low was 2020 in on October 9th. Straight up. You said they're hunting for stop losses. That's right. And limit orders. And look, Tesla pumped up really quickly again. Like we were just talking about how people's limit orders get triggered. Once you get a big candle, oftentimes, and then boom. But the correction... Or reversal should continue in the short term. All right. So now let's keep it going. And let's look. Wow, look at Lucid. Look at that. Look at Lucid getting absolutely smacked. Absolutely. Just crushed, destroyed. So pretty much, if you're in any put outside of, let's call it, Apple... Maybe even if you got it in the morning, but any put outside of Apple or ChargePoint. It don't move. <laughs> ChargePoint moved to the downside. Check Apple again. Man, look at Neo getting scorched. NIO. I'm looking at Neo. Neo is getting absolutely spacked absolutely you said is lucid gonna get clapped all year it could but yeah neo is getting smoked you see he just went up 320 percent on a lucid put let's go ford let's check ford okay ford is pumping a bit let's get the moving averages out of here to clean up the charts a little bit let's see if tesla is gonna start to bottom out or actually turn back around or just keep pumping up like this you said lucid puts a 230 peloton lucid oh man y'all come on now <laughs> yo lucid is getting smashed now i want you to think about this let's go back and let's talk about lucid just in general lcid let's see news so lucid what's going on with the news with lucid why lucid group stock plunged let's see if this pops up and tells us anything that we would need to know All right, Lucid stock plunged, blah, blah, blah. Oh, I got to sign into this? Nah, I'm good. I'm not signing up for your website, sir. I'm okay. Let's try to find out through another article. Lucid, Ope Studio. So they opened up a studio in California. Wall Street, reverse again. Mm, nah, nothing crazy happened with them. Nothing. So I don't even know what that article would have even been about. It's just the stock market family. Just straight up. It's just dropping. Okay, yeah. So then Neo is absolutely getting smacked. I can't believe. I know this might sound crazy to somebody who was hearing this in 2019, let's say, right? Like they heard this. They never thought somebody in 2022 would say something like this. But I can't believe that GameStop is at $90. Look at that. I'm shocked. GameStop. And why do I say something like that? Because somebody looking back or looking at this let's say in 2019 they remember GameStop being like a two dollar stock for just ever right forever and ever and ever just two dollar stock two dollar stock now you look back here comparatively speaking it was 16 but then you look over here 2019 it was three dollars so then for somebody to hear that they'd be like wow i remember that stock being just a dud and now it's 
bad that it's $91. Crazy. Notice that it got all the way up. And GameStop got all the way up to 483, 84 range. So that's nuts. Workhorse. AMC is taking a hit. Let's take a look at AMC. AMC is $14. I'm telling you this. I'm straight up diamond hand in my AMC. And I cannot be shaken out of this. I just want you to really understand. Family, could you hit the like button, please? So we can get over 500 likes. 50% is the sweet spot. And let's go back to the spy. Okay. So we're looking back at the spy. And it's bouncing off of the 427. Bouncing off of the 427. Apple. Supposedly, Rivian stock is going to go up 160%. Whew. Uber 33 is insane. Come on now, family. It's Friday. We're tr we trying to chill out. We're trying to relax. We're trying to just chill, make some money. And we want to look for really, really, really good and solid entries. Because you could get stopped out if you get a bad entry and make, like, some money. And money is money. However, on a lotto kind of a Friday, you want to make more than a little bit but you don't want to ever get greedy you got to stick to the stick to the play as is look at roblox look at roblox roblox was 141 and now roblox is 53 dollars look at that did anybody get to ride this wave down and this was not a long time let's take a look it was over 100 dollars when as recent as January 4th, and it lost half its value since then. That's nuts. You say you don't see any good deals either. You know me. If I see a price I like, I strike. And if I don't, I pass on the play. Straight up. You said a bunch of you didn't get the alerts? Come on now. That's crazy. Apple is pumping. Apple just killed it with their earnings. However, again, these pumps, these are just swings. These are just straight up swings. You said, I'm trying to decide which way to go. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> uh, is charge point any good right now? I personally think that I like charge point down here. But I'm talking about for a very, very, very long hold. Not like a get in today and it's up in a month. I'm talking about very long term. You understand? You said they're trying to short key the channel. Hey, it is what it is. As long as y'all keep the likes over 50%, then they can't, they can't stop us. You understand me? All right, yeah. So let's keep it going. We're looking at some plays right now. And we're trying not to get smacked on a quick in and out. We're, we're listening to the charts, not to our hearts, right? So, just like I told you with Tesla, how it came down to here, many people's limit orders got triggered, and it runs right up, right? So then what is that telling us? That's telling us that mm, maybe this one doesn't have the volatility at the moment that we would need to make a lot of money quick, right? So then what we're doing is we're just looking around. AMD, $90, $90. And look, similar idea. People must have had their limit orders set to buy under the 90s, and then it just gets triggered when it falls under there. No notification at all. Apple, let's do some chart work. That's what we're going to do. So let's go to Lucid. Let's go to Lucid right now, and let's do some chart work on it. So, ready? Headphones in the chat, baby. Let's just do it. So while we're doing this, while we're looking for a play, it's only right that I lace you up with some game. So here we go. This is going to be a quick, quick, quick mini lesson on supports and resistances, right? So let's check it out. Right now, we have the day. So we're going to zoom all the way out on the day chart. Let me get rid of all of these older lines. So then you can try to help yourself to say where would be a decent time to buy some loose stock if you wanted to hold it long, right? So I'm personally looking right now to get into a lucid option, but I'm going to show you basically how to chart it. So here we go. 
I'm going to click on my horizontal line. The first thing, when you start off, oh, look, now Lucy wants to load. Now this Weaver wants to load up. You see, this has never happened to me before. Come on. As soon as I try to start to show you the game, here we go with this. So I'm looking for a lucid option on a lotto play, but right now I can't even do anything because Weeble is giving me this this spinny wheel, and I and now Weeble's frozen. Come on now, family. I'm about to short Weeble if I could. Come on. And now we now we we get smoked on the. Let me know if you can even hear me at this point. Now Weeble is frozen. That's crazy. That's crazy. The second that I said I'm going to try to show you how to chart, this happens. That's absolutely crazy. The the very second, all right? That's crazy. Somebody said the data scientist is in the building. Oh. <laughs> the data scientist is in the building. Stupid. Come on now. That's crazy. Maybe I could X out of it. Maybe I could. I'm on a Mac, right? Somebody in the comments, let me know. How do you force close an app on a Mac? How do you force close an app on a Mac? Like what buttons? You know how it's control, alt, delete when you want like a normal button or a normal computer that's not a Mac? How do you do it? Let me know. You said the GameStop effect? That's crazy. Totally, that's crazy. That's so crazy. Somebody said the data scientist is in the building. Somebody said alt, delete, and close. Alt, delete, and close. Is that it? All right, let's try it. Let's try. Nah, I'm on a Mac, family. I don't even see that button. Alt. I got command, options, control, function. Command Q. Command Q. I'm getting nothing. Command Q. Options, command, escape. Options, command, escape. There we go. Force quit Weeble. Not responding. Yes. All right. So let's try again. Appreciate you, family. Command. I didn't have all escape, whatever, family. But that worked. I forget what you said, but it worked. I did it. Oh, let's go. Let's go. Desktop, blah, blah, blah. Nah, we're good. I don't know what you're talking about, but we're good. All right, cool. Much love for that, family. I don't know what what's going on, man. The data scientists in the chat. So here we go. Let me just make sure that this is squared away so you can see everything that I can see. Okay, good. So you can see it. So let's go back to Lucid, and let's try this again. Let's see if this happens to us again. It better not. All right. Later. Install it. Oh, they want me to do an update. That's what's going on. So you crashing on me so I don't like update it? That's crazy. That's crazy. That's how they getting down. Here we go. Lucid. So, ready? Headphones in the chat, baby. We back. And Shantae, welcome to the family, baby. If you want to be up on any of the plays that we get in, when we get in, then what I want you to know is join the Discord. You'll be in there. But let's check it out. We're going to do some chart work. So let's try it now that we got it. We ready to go. <laughs> Headphones in the chat. Let's get it. So Lucid, this is how you start when you're doing your chart work. Straight up like this. You zoom out. I want you to go to the daily chart or even sometimes the weekly chart on the bottom. My time frames are down here. Right? So what you're going to do in this case is we're going to start off on the day. So we can see, when was the last time that we saw this price right here, right? In the past, right? It's not here. It's not here. It's all the way over here. So then you want to ask yourself, on the day chart, is this touching a support level or not? No. The last support was basically here, and we broke past it. So I'm going to get a horizontal line, a flat line. That was up here. We broke past that one. So it means that we're likely to head back towards the next support where the last time it bounced, which is here. And where is that? That's $23. $23, it looks like it's where it's headed, right? So that was all the way back in October 22nd. That's where that was. So we had our first level of support. So now that we have that far out level of support, we try to zoom in a little bit. Let's do the 30 minute chart, see if we could see our other support line. This blue line, that's that $23 line, right? Right now we're at 25. 
you could argue that 25 is a psychological level of support. It's not an actual level of support. By psychological, it means people are thinking that they want to pick up loose at 25. So then there might be a buy wall where the sellers are pressing it down and the people are saying, yeah, I want to buy it. There's, there's so many people who want to buy it there. So this might be a psychological level. But if we break under it, then our real next level of support is 23, right? So we got that. Then we could look back and say, are there any ones as of late? Are there any ones as of late? And when you look for the supports as of late, you'll see, no, there's not. We broke past all of the recent ones. Literally, we've been stair-stepping down consistently for a very long time. So when you just go back and back and back, family, you don't even see anymore the support levels. They're just gone. So Lucid right now is in what we would call a free fall, right? It's in a free fall, but towards 23 so it's been free falling and you could have been identified it if you would have did charts on it i didn't do the charts on it because i wasn't looking at it like that did i talk about amc yet no but i definitely can let's check out amc really quick so we have a support at 12 from where let's zoom out it's the same concept as what we're talking about with lucid unless we've been in this big downtrend i drew this line i don't even know when but it was a long time ago and we've been in this huge downtrend and we're still trading within it. And honestly, we're breaking under it. So the downtrend is getting stronger as of late. So let's delete some of these older lines. And let's see. The next support level is about 12. Right. Next support level is about 12. So if we break under 12. Then the next support for AMC. And remember, these are real support levels, not psychological ones. The next one under that would be at eight dollars. So 12 and 8. And you remember, I heard there were many, many apes at the battle of, what was it, 801? <laughs> Crazy. Crazy. Now we're just in the battle of who has diamond hands and who doesn't. Straight up like that. But again, if you only invest what you're willing to lose into a play that's so manipulated, right? Okay, now, let's see. Now that we see what's going on, we're getting into this descending wedge formation right here, which looks like it could either break under it, but if it continues... It could continue all the way out into May. Um, D Silver, just right into it. If you type it, you'll see it. You say you're trying to get more $8. I hear you. I hear you. And at this point, too, if we go back to Lucid, there's almost no point in putting a resistance line even on the levels. Right? You could do it, but it, it almost makes no sense. Right? Because this is such a huge downtrend. That if you try to put a resistance up here, you ask yourself, why Why does that even matter at this point? Like, this could be a resistance right here at 29, but it almost doesn't even matter with such a strong downtrend. And when you look at this on the 30-minute chart, we have the MACD blue line cross over the signal line, and boom, straight down rockets in the chat. All right, now let's go back to Tesla, which is pumping up. What I want to know is... When is it going to cross back down for a potential ride the wave back down? On the five minute chart, we can see the MACD converging upward, which is a good sign, but it didn't cross over yet. So it's still some selling pressure in there. Now on the minute chart, we see that it was opening up, but it's kind of stagnant in terms of the momentum forward. How much money can you start with? So you could actually start with any amount of money. I pulled out this chart here, which is I want it to be a guide for you, for your stock portfolio. You can have $100. That would mean if you have $100, more realistically, it's better to just go and buy just, let's call it hypothetically, let's just say Apple. Just buy Apple and just keep buying it. And once your portfolio is like starting to really amass some numbers that you feel is substantial, then you start to say, okay. I got my individual stocks. Now I need to build out my foundation or you can even buy your foundation first. Right. And let's say you get it. Let's say you had one hundred dollars. Let's keep it simple just for the breakdown. But if you had one hundred dollars, you should just put it into one stock that you believe in, like an Apple or something like that or a Microsoft or even a VTI. Just get a fractional share, like I was saying with public. But here we go. Foundation, 60 percent individual stocks. This is this is the Apple, the Fang, the the and by Fang, I mean Facebook, Amazon, Apple, Microsoft, Google. Right. We got Netflix. We got all these other things. Netflix is still a banger, believe it or not. 
But swing trades, do not have your entire portfolio in a crazy hot play that moves too quickly, right? Where you're trying to get in low and get out high. I'm talking like a prog or something like that, or even like a BBIG. I know people love BBIG. BBIG, I like it too, but you can't have it as your whole portfolio. It'll be too volatile, right? Options, 5%. Cash, 5%. You might even want to up the cash now so you can have more and be prepared for the dips, right? I want you to really get prepared for these dips that are coming in March or even before March on the way leading up to it, right? Let's let's win. Let's think about it just like that. Shout out to shout out to Jamaica. I see you in the building. I see you. All right. So now let's see. This is why we listen to the charts. As soon as we I told you with this giant candle right here is hitting everybody's triggers. Oh, wow. You're right. I, family, do you know? Did you know? Did you know that today is a special day? Uh, it's not just it's not just about AMC or GameStop or Robinhood. Let's go back and let's let's go to our good old friend, Unusual Whales. No, I don't want to say anything. I want to look up Unusual Whales. Un usual whales they posted an important tweet today and let's see sometimes whale is hard to find some of the tweets let's see one hour ago one hour ago apple robin who was this one hour ago here we go on january 28th 2021 numerous brokers restricted trades that includes robin hood weeble merrill lynch Charles Schwab, IBKR, TD Ameritrade, and then E-Trade. Many of their CEOs claimed it was absolutely necessary to restrict trading. And they asked, was this justified? So this is the anniversary. So if you are a one-year-old ape, I'm talking GameStop, I'm talking anything that they would describe AMC as a meme coin, let me know if you are a one-year-old ape. I will not be a one-year-old ape until May. But I know that there are some, and I want to give a, a major shout out to, to y'all because you've been diamond handing this, and this doesn't mean you need to or have to, but I want to give y'all a shout out and just in respect to that, shout out to, shout out to everybody who's fighting for market transparency and fairness in the market, family, straight up, because it's, it's crazy. One year old eight, family, that's, that's crazy. Major salute. Let me get air horns. Air horns for you, straight up. <laughs> <laughs> let's go i love to see it i do and let's go check them out let's check out amc and let's just run it and let's let's go through the numbers on it so amc at the time of this recording we have it at 13 dollars almost 14 somebody said february let us know when you'll be a one-year-old ape i'll be a one-year-old ape in may somebody said they're a two-year-old ape that's crazy that's crazy one year, baby. Let's go. Since 2020. Uh-huh. That's crazy, family. I, I, shout out to y'all. Major salute to y'all. Major, major salute to y'all. Let's go and check out what's going on with the manipulation, though. So, Stonko Tracker. Major shout out to AMC. So, take a look. This is what's going on. Not too long ago, I went on a live stream with Short the Vix and the Master Investor. And we were talking about how there was like 7 million or 8 million shares of AMC available to be borrowed by the short sellers. Which means, this had to be what, a week ago? That means they borrowed 2 million more shares and then they psh, dropped them into the market, family. So this is one of the reasons why AMC is coming down like that. The short sellers have the ability to sell 5.2 million more shares if they so choose. Right? And... Come on, let's be clear. They already put $2 million back in already. So that's crazy. That's absolutely crazy. The volume on AMC is kind of normal. When it pumps up, we usually get like 17, 15, 20 million, right? In that range. But right now, we're not getting that. Okay, now, the short sale restrictions and everything like that at $13, you could kind of ignore that because the government, they're not enforcing that rule. So it is what it is, straight up. You said, shout out to me. You saw me on Fox. Shout out to you, family. Appreciate you. You got a free AMC stock in October 2020. One month ape here. It is what it is, baby. 
As long as we keeping it real. And let's check this out, too. Oh, shout out to my guy. He said, bro, can you please chart Palatine? Shout out to you, family. Keeping the lights on. In here. Appreciate you for the super chat, family. He said this. Can you, can you please chart Palatine? He said he was researching it, and they say it's supposed to drop to 17, and he got a push at 23 strike for the fourth. Will Theta eat you up? So, on the fourth, Theta is going to be ramping up, family, again and again and again. So, if it's not going your way, short term, then... You got to have a risk tolerance. So PTON. PTON. So this way from 24, you say you got in at 23 and we're right back here and we're finding weakness, a little bit of weakness on a one minute chart. But I know you probably having some fear because of this pump up right here. Right. So I hear you. I definitely hear you. So let's do some charting on it. Let's zoom out. Like I said before. Yeah. To be honest with this kind of a trend. I don't know about the fourth, but you should be okay. But I don't know about the fourth. The fourth is right there. It's hard to say. It's so close of a time frame. That is really, really, really hard to say exactly. All right. So now, let's keep it going. We got some things that are pumping up. Pumping up straight. And we could have got in on the ride up. But... You know what? You can't get in on everything. You want to see it set you up for a huge W, especially on a Lotto Friday. And that's what I'm looking for. But if I don't see it, I won't jump. You know what I'm saying? Smash the like. Let's get it. I appreciate you, family. You say you dollar cost averaging down. You know what? While we're here, I want to add another tool to your investing toolbox. And we talked about this in the past, but I really want you to understand that go to investmentcalculator.com, right? Or just look up Google Investment Calculator. And I want you to figure out when you will become a millionaire if things for you, like your income or something like that. Like, for example, we were talking about how you could become a millionaire in retirement if you adhere to certain regulations in terms of your own regulations. How regularly do you invest your money? You want to try to do that every month at a minimum, right? So let's do this. Let's say that you start with zero. Let's say that you are, I don't know, let's let's say you're 30 years old, right? So if you're 30 years old, you'll probably retire at 65, which is in 35 years. You do your own numbers. Average rate of return. You see how we're in a bear market. Sometimes this happens. Let's say that we get 10%. It compounds annually. What are you going to contribute? No, no, no. We're going to do this to monthly. Right? Additional contributions every or each month. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll compound it annually, but we'll do the contributions monthly. How much money do you think could the average person invest? A month who knows what it is but let's say let's just start it off with 100 and let's see how it changes so let's start it off with 100 and what we're going to see is what is our end balance what is our starting amount what is our total contributions and what was the total interest that we've earned so let's see over 35 years starting with nothing starting at 30 you end at you say you got that tool let's see So 300000 Now, to you, that might say, oh, man, you know what? This is not a lot. Let me ask you something. No disrespect. Did your grandma or grandpa have $300,000? You don't have to answer this. I just want you to think. Did your grandma or grandpa have $300,000 when they were 65? That's what I'm asking you, right? Just think about that. We got to be realistic. And this is if somebody started at 30 years old and then they invested $100 a month and made 10% on it over that time. Let's say that you could do a little bit better and do 200. What will you get then? Look at that. It almost doubles or more than doubles, right? At 679,000. And notice that you only contributed 84,000 totally. But guess what? You have basically almost $600,000 in interest, family. So most of this, the high majority of what you did was just interest straight up. Let's up it and let's say that you could do 400. 
what are people saying? They're saying like one, 150. I'm seeing 150, 200. So then we'll just leave it at 200, right? We'll leave it at 200. And let's see. What if you were 30 and you were going to work? What if you were 25 and then you were going to work until you were like 65, right? So that would give you 40 years of investing $200 a month. You would be a millionaire. And I just want to ask, you know, just consider, and this is no disrespect. This is just being honest. Do, did your grandparents or great grandparents or anybody have money like this when they were older? And I just want you to really consider when you start to see numbers that are, let's say, like, what if it was even $50 a month, right? And you started at 30 and you ended at 65. And then you say, man, 169,000, that's nothing. Ask yourself the same question again. Did your grandparents have 169,000? In their old age, right? And you could do better because you now have the knowledge. And I want you to just remember that. And I want you to use this tool. You said, what is it called? It's called the investment calculator. I Googled literally investment calculator. And it's the first thing that pops up, at least on my on my end, right? Investment calculator, you click on it. All you gotta do is just fill in some things. So this is how you should do it right now. And right, you may get even better than 10%. Who knows? So Let's say, look at your investment account right now. Let's say you have $10,000 in there or $5,000 in there or whatever. That'll be your starting amount. Let's say you want to see what would it take you to get to a million in the next 10 years. What percentage return would you have to get? Play around with the numbers. Let's say that you're putting in $400 a month, right? Just keep adjusting the numbers until you start to see. I just want you to get used to this tool. If you have $5,000 now, you get a 6% return every single year for the next 10 years. You're going to have $70,000 more than that in the next 10 years, which is great. I'm pretty sure there are people who are 10 years older than you right now that don't have $70,000, right? What if you had a 10% return? You would have $92,000, right? There are people who are 10 years older than you right now. No disrespect. I'm talking like aunts, uncles, parents, right? People who are old, more than 10 years older than you that don't have ninety thousand dollars so having that in the next 10 years is a level up don't just think oh i don't want to do it i don't want to make it happen right you understand what i'm saying shout out to you lisa brown said thank you keenan for all you do for us you say you truly a gem hope your health is better yes it's way better than it was truly deserve all the best much love shout out to you shout out to you i appreciate you so, yeah, family, play around with the numbers. I'm going to even throw this in the chat. Let me see. Investment calculator. Just go to the plain website, and I'm going to throw this in the chat for you. Boom. Straight up. So you said taxes, long-term capital gains, you pay 20%. But if you understand taxes, you understand that it's always better to make money than to not make money because you don't want to pay taxes. You understand what I'm saying? But it's really convoluted, meaning in a way that you got to think. They try to make comp taxes so complicated because they're trying to control you through the taxes. That's really it. They want to control you. And taxes should be a lot simpler, but they're not because there's power and confusion. There's a lot of power in it. From the powers that be, who some might call the elite. It is what it is. All right, she said, should we be holding on Neo puts? So what, is Neo starting to pump? Remember, I always tell you, if you get in on a minute chart on a put, then you expect to be out in a few minutes. If you get in on a five-minute chart, you expect to be out in a few increments of five minutes. You said it works. I'm telling you, family. Yo, look at that. Everything is starting to pump. AMC, though, is starting to come down. Lucid is starting to pump. Always consider taking profits when, you, when you're doing your thing. You understand me? You so said, look at the graph below the charts, the MACD. ATVI. I'll tell you the truth. Personally, keeping it real, you can. I would not. I wouldn't invest in this company. This is just me. Now, I'm not saying anything is wrong with it. I'm just not. It's just not the company for me, personally. 
and I like to, I would probably swing trade it. You understand? But I would need to do a lot more to basically say I want to load up on that. This doesn't mean you shouldn't. Christian Hip Hop, shout out to you, my guy. He said, being that I'm already 40, my calculator is not as fun. However, if anyone there is 18, 21, basically the interest, come on now, right, start young, start young. And even though you are 40, obviously, you know, we all wish when we were younger, we would have known the same kind of things. But I'm telling you this, there are people right now who are 50, who won't have the kind of money, who don't have the kind of money that you will have when you are 50, if you stick to your plan. You understand me? It's not about being somebody else. It's about being the best you, straight up. You want to be the best you. To be honest with you, let's keep it real, right? There are probably people in your family right now. Like, let's let's look at this. Let's say for the next, let's keep it extra real. Let's, let's say for the next five years, let's say you got an account worth $5,000 right now. Let's say for the next five years, you make 10%, right? You put $200 in there every single month. I promise you, there are people in your family right now who are significantly older than you who do not have $23,000. Straight up. No disrespect to them. But you got to be the best you. And you got to make it happen for you. Stick to your plan. Make it happen. Straight up. You 50 years old, right? And let's say when you 55, you want to have $20,000 more than you have. Come on now, let's win. Let's win. It's not all about being, being somebody else. It's about being you and and getting busy. You know what I'm saying? What if you could do $300 a month? What is that going to do? First off, we had $23,000. let us see what adding another 100 does. Boom, $30,000. You know what time it is. Come on now. You know what time it is. I want you to get paid. I want you to really start to really get this money. Right? My dog said I'm 55 right now. Right? You 55? Guess what? When you 65... I want you to have, at a minimum, more thousands of dollars than you have right now. You got this. You got this. You say you made $300 plus this week with your small account. Come on now. I love to see it. Straight up. Jillian said, I opened up your daughter's account. And you said when she was 20, right? And then you said now she's 22 and she just became a registered nurse. Yep, $500, come on now, every pay period. That's what I'm talking about. Before I get up out of here, I want to say this. I want to say this. I want to show you something. So when I first got on this YouTube game back in the day, right? If you go to my videos, you could sort them by old videos. They added oldest, right? Let me scroll up here so you can see what I can see. I learned how to invest $50. I knew how to do it at this point, but I learned how to also teach it. How to save $150 on my phone bill. Safest way to earn passive income. How I made $2,000 on Robinhood. How I paid off my debts fast, right? No, with basically no interest and invested the money. Paid off my credit cards, got a high credit score. Right. All of these different things, how to handle a recession, all, all of these different things. And what did it do? It put me in a millionaire mindset. It put me in a millionaire mindset. Right. And what was I doing? I was using the investing calculator. And then I was thinking to myself. 10 years, 15 years, however long, if I get a 10 percent return, the goal is to be able to up this number right here. Your contributions, your monthly contributions. I say, you know what? I'm in debt. I don't have anything to contribute, right? So that means if I keep this 5000 I got in my account, where am I going to be in 15 years? I'm going to be at 20000 What if I could save 150 on my phone bill somehow? I figured it out, and I did it. Boom, that upped it to 80 Just by putting the money that I was paying on a phone bill, now on my investments, I changed what I was going to have in the next 15 years from 20000 just leaving my money in an account, with zero, right? With zero contributions to then 80,000. 80, I'm like, oh, 
So this is the key to the game. This is the key to the game. Up in this number right here. So then I was like, okay, maybe if I pay off my credit cards, then maybe I could get another 200. So now I'm at what? 350? I'm like, yo, I'm at 350. Boom. 160. Let's go. So then the name of the game was to be able to up my monthly contributions, family. And then when I was doing this, I kept doing it, going hard, going hard. Paid off my car, right? My car payment, I want you to understand. You already know what time it is, right? You already know what time it is, how you'll see me go on a, on a live stream. I do a quick trade because I see a price that I like. And then, and then boom. Next thing you know, I made $300 or something like that, right? Or $1,000 or something like that. Just know I'll get out with 20. I'm cool. If I make money, I make money. But what I decided to do was, what am I going to do with this stuff? I allocate it to long-term bangers. So then I could up this. So then I paid off my car. So then let's say I got now $500 that I'm contributing each month. What am I doing? I'm getting, I'm trying to up this num up this number right here. This is the key to the game. This is the key to the game right here. Let's say you get your significant other on board, right? Y'all both doing 500. Come on, family. You could get there. You really could get there. But it's all about having that mindset and then saying, look, how am I going to make it happen? Now, somebody just asked me, where could we get the 10% return? Where am I getting this number from? So it's basically the average stock market return over the last 100 years. That's where I got that number from. The stock market returned 10% on average in the last 100 years. In the last 10 years or so, I want to say it was like 13-ish, 14-ish, but that's what I'm talking about. And how could you up this number, family? I'm talking about driving an Uber, right? I'm talking about maybe you don't go out Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Maybe you just go out Friday or Saturday or Sunday, right? Something like that. Yo, that's crazy. Uh, <laughs> somebody just said this. Uh, Creek said, every time I get money, my car has a problem. Let me tell you something. There's a meme that I saw, and it was like, when you, <laughs> it said, when you get money, your car is like, oh, we got money? Because <laughs> next thing you know, you back getting your car fixed at the mechanic. Uh, come on now. I love it. But again, family. Okay. So I was looking for plays today for a Lotto Friday play. I didn't necessarily see anything that I liked. That I wanted to just jump in. We did identify Tesla for a short turn on the uptrend. Let's see. Let's go to the five minute and then back to the one. But nah. <laughs> Listen, if you see a price you like, you strike. That's how you save yourself some money. Don't jump into everything every time. But again, I love y'all. I appreciate y'all. And just know, if I see Tesla... I'm talking about in a $500, $700 range. This is one that's going to make, I said this in the video yesterday, Tesla and Apple and plays like this is going to make us financially free. We're going to pass it down. It's going to make our kids rich. They're going to pass it down, and it's going to make our grandkids wealthy. I appreciate y'all. I love y'all, and I see you in the Discord. But if you can't handle the heat of these hot stocks, then stay out of the kitchen. Consider investing in the index funds, baby. I want you to have a great weekend. Take care. I love y'all. Again, I'm out.